Hello everybody, <clears throat> this is Uppish, and welcome to Mr. Hot's Playhouse. Now, this, this is basically a game, you know how some kids had that creepy little doll in their family home that they were not a fan of? Well, this is that kind of game. <laughs> we're facing the creepy doll that we hated and in this case it's Mr. Hop a recently made doll that was created by a family member so yeah without further ado let's get, let's get into Mr. Hop's playhouse Mwah. dad can you take Mr. Hop tonight he scares me don't be silly Ruby what would Nana think of you saying that? She made him just for you. I'll leave your nightlight on. Try and get some sleep. Ooh. Mom? Dad? So this is in Britain? Okay, so we're active. Head to parents' room. Oh. I guess this works. Kitten. Mm. Toys make noise. If only Ruby had listened to her parents and tidied her toys away. Be sure to jump over the toy scatter around the house. Oh. Oh, that wasn't bad. So we've got to get to Mom and Dad's house. Footsteps can be deafening. Make sure it's completely safe before coming out. Oh my. This, this must be a bad dream. Make your way back to bed. Oh no. Can I not interact with this door? Huh, apparently not. Hmm. That's creepy. Oh. Mr. Hop? Leave the house. <sighs> that is creepy. Ooh! Mom? Find Ruby's mother. Some doors require a key. <gasps> Tape recorder, sticky note attached, reads under the mirror. Oh, task, find tapes. Ooh. Ooh, that scared the hell out of me. Ooh. Under the mirror. Anniversary 18th of April. Ooh. Oh. September 8th. Jenna, Ruby, and I went to see Esther yesterday. Ruby always loves seeing her grandmother. Nana, she calls her. She's not been doing so well in recent months. We went around the other weekend and she was just staring at the wall. We had to really shake her to snap her out of it and then she was just fine like nothing had happened. God knows how long she'd been doing that for. We booked her in for a doctor's appointment. I'm sh supposed to be recording ideas for a new novel. Ooh. September 14th, Jenna and I stopped to see Esther again today. The place was filthy. I'm not sure how it would have gotten so bad so quickly. Esther doesn't seem to be keeping herself clean either, and it's almost like she didn't recognize us. Her appointment is tomorrow. Jenna is worried she might have to go into care. I'll keep this document. I hope Ruby doesn't have to see her like this. Hmm. Oh no. Does that mean that... That uh, this doll was made from, like, her haunted mother? Her haunted grandmother? Haunting grandmother? 
Oh my! Ooh. September 15th, as of recording this, Esther's in hospital. Her neighbors called the police in the early hours of the morning because they could hear her screaming. She will be there for a few days. We've told Ruby that she had a, fa a fall and that she's okay. We're waiting on diagnosis. Hmm. This is concerning. They're basically make, making me run back and forth throughout the entire house to find all these dang tapes. It's going to be annoying with this game. This kind of game. Look at that. At first he just had cat's eyes. Now his eyes are black. His eyes then turned black and now it, his eyes are dripping. September 17th, we took Ruby to the hospital to see her nana. Esther made a soft toy for her called Mr. Hop, a small rabbit. Esther always knitted her clothes and, and toys. Ruby was thankful, but I must admit this toy does, ha does have a look to it. Something quite unsettling. Wow, it even tried to grab me from the floorboards. Cheeky son of a gun. <laughs> oh my, now his mouth is agape. That's even more creepy. But just two more tapes to go. Gosh, this is gonna take me a while. Because I think he's getting more and more creepy and more and more flustered. Aha. September 19th, we just had a call. Esther passed away in her sleep. The doctors couldn't give us a diagnosis and even said this sudden passing is bizarre. We will have to tell Ruby when she gets home from school. This isn't going to be easy on any of us. Okay, we need one more tape. Nana looked into the fires of heck and she saw me. Ooh. I didn't notice that before. I don't know if that was if that was on the wall or not. <gasps> run, 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 run. Ooh. That scared the flying heck out of me. September 22nd, Ruby says the mis Mr. Hop toy creeps her out, but it's the only thing she has to remember her grandmother by. I keep hearing bumps in the night, like someone is walking around and it's scaring Jen and I. I keep a handgun in the safe, but I'm considering keeping it closer to me. We lock that room so Lu Ruby can't get in get to it. Jenna keeps the key under a house plant in the hallway, I think. Okay. I had to look up the password. 1804? Okay. 8. No, wait. Um. 1804? Aha! Got the pistol. Find Mr. Hop. Hey, Mr. Hop! I've got a little present for you. Come on, die. 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 There we go. Mr. Hop's gone now. <laughs> Ruby, come and give your Nana a big kiss. I don't know. Oh my. Nana, but I thought you were... Ruby, play with me. Oh my, run, 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 run. Holy crap. Holy crap. Jump. Oh my. Ooh. Just gotta get him out of the way. Jump, jump. Shoot. Jump, shoot. Ooh. Armed police, drop the gun now. What is happening here? Ruby escaped, ending escape artist.
Huh. Awesome. Well, that was an interesting game, don't you guys think? Not a big fan of the format, I'll be honest. I wasn't a big fan of the format. Uh, I'm not a big fan of side-scroller games like that. Uh, I prefer them to be a little bit pu a little bit more uniquely puzzled, you know. I don't like key hunts, okay? I really don't like key hunts. They annoy the heck out of me. Uh, but the story, the story was actually relatively interesting. Something unique that I haven't seen in a long time. So yeah, let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. And without further ado, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.